Is this you fumbling for your seatbelt every time you get in the car? If you found this video, there's a reasonable chance that the seatbelt stopper button fell off of your seatbelt like mine did. This is irritating, but luckily these are easily replaceable. The first step is to find the spot where the button used to be. This will have a hole in the center. An easy mistake to make when replacing these is to forget to move the seatbelt latch above the location where you're going to put the new button. Ask me how I know. Next, take the two halves of the replacement button. I'll put a link to an inexpensive repair kit in the video description. Press the one with the peg through the fabric of the seatbelt. Then, use your fingernails to press it all the way through. If it won't go, or you're starting a new hole, use a pin, nail, or leather hole punch to make the hole bigger. Once the peg is all the way through, take the back half of the button and press it onto the peg. If you've got man hands, you're done. For everyone else, use a pliers to make sure it's nice and snug. I put a rag around it so that the plastic doesn't get marred. Give it a couple of good squeezes to make it tight. One final tip here is that these have a tendency to fall off. After all, that's what got us into this mess in the first place. Some people use a soldering iron to melt the peg into place. That's one method, and I bet it works great. I recommend putting a small drop of super glue on the back of the button where the peg sticks through. This will make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.